don't even know what to say. Does this look good on me? I feel like, I don't know. What do I feel like right now? I don't know what I'm saying. Look how cute Tubby's being. What is up? <laughs> I get so awkward in the beginning. I don't know what to do. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. Yay, I'm so excited you're here. I'm so excited to be here because I have some exciting news. So exciting. All right, I'm gonna take a seat. Y'all take a seat too. What exciting news do I have for you guys? Well, I have found my next contract. I found my next contract. And the reason I'm talking quiet is because it's kind of late. And I sold a lot of my furniture because, you know, I'll be moving soon. And it's kind of like a little echoey in here. And I feel like I'm talking really loud. So I'm trying not to be too loud. So I may stand here for most of the video. But anyways, yes, I found my next contract. I'm so excited. I'm going to a small little town in Virginia. But I'm very excited because it seems like it's going to be a cute little town. And there's a lot of little hiking areas close by and the pay is much higher so yeah i plan i'm going to talk about this pay package in another video because i really want to start making videos about all my different pay packages so i can compare and contrast them to each other and i feel like that's just a good way to educate new travelers and even current travelers about like other pay packages that are out there. And also I'm learning myself. So I hope this pay package is a good one. It's definitely a little different, but I'm gonna explain it in another video. And of course, Tubby is coming with me. I hope she likes a new place. I hope you like it. Yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, I am gonna make other videos about different pay packages because for me, the pay is really important. The higher, the better because you know I still got them student loans, of course. Like, still a lot of student loans. I've been paying them off though every single month uh, since there was like that extended, what's it called? I always forget the name of it. Pause on the freaking student loan stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Every month I like save as much money as I can and then I put a big lump sum towards my student loans and try to pay off like as much as I can, basically. Oh, and speaking of student loans, at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about my New Year's resolutions. I know it's a little bit overdue. January is like almost over, but I'm just going to talk about the ones that have to do with my career and financial goals. So stay tuned for that. So I found my new contract like a couple weeks ago, like closer towards the beginning of January. And I, of course, I already started the process of getting everything all situated because this contract is in a new state and it's with a new company. So the onboarding process and the process of getting a licensure in Virginia has been a pain in the butt. So has been a pain in the butt. I will make another video on everything that I've had to do in order to get a new license in different state and all the things you have to do when you work with a new company and you go to a new facility it's just a lot. So I'll explain in the other video kind of what I did to kind of organize it. So it was less stressful and I just tried to knock out everything as soon as I could. So I'm not like struggling to get everything done the last minute. So that would not be good. Cause I don't know how long the licensure process is going to take because my home state is North Carolina, which is part of the PT compact. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to put a link below and get more information from that because I really don't feel like explaining it right now. <laughs> but um, <laughs> if you do have questions about it, put it in the comments below and I will answer them. So my new contract is in Virginia and that is also part of the PT Compact. So South Carolina wasn't, so whatever. So first I have to get my North Carolina PT licensure. And then once I get that, then I can apply for the Virginia licensure. But the process to get the Virginia one versus North Carolina one won't be as crazy because I have the PT Compact stuff. I'm still learning too, so I don't know how well I'd be able to answer questions right now. But once I get it all figured out and I go through the process, then I'll be an expert, right? Tubby's going in this. Tubby, get out the sink. 
Toby has been doing this thing where she has been just sitting in the sinks. Like she wasn't doing that before. Sometimes she would like look in them and sniff. But like every time I like go to brush my teeth, wash my face, I'll turn the water on, you know, and she'll just like go in the sink and start playing with the water. I'm like, what are you doing? I did give her a bath for the first time, like, I don't know, last month or something, because I don't know, somehow she peed on herself. <laughs> in the litter, I don't know how it happened. But anyway, she was nasty, so I had to clean her up. I'll make sure her paws are clean all the time, but she just gives herself a little kitty bath. But this time I actually had to give her a bath myself. Ain't that right, Toby? And she did really good with it. This is off topic, but she did so good with it. Like, she was, doing like this low like grumbling like growling thing but she wasn't like frantically trying to get out or clawing me or anything like that she did so well i was so i gave her all the little treats after that she did so good <laughs> okay anyways where was i <sighs> so yeah the whole process of getting everything situated for my new contract is a pain in the butt but you know it has to be done so there's that stay tuned for a video that explains more detail about all that. And then next thing is housing. That is stressful. Stressful. Trying to find housing that is affordable for three months is difficult. Very hard. Like you can find housing on like Airbnb or there's some other websites out there where you can do month to month payments, but they're pricey. Like I'm not trying to pay $1,500 or more for an apartment. At least not right now, because like like I said, I want most of my money to go towards my loans. So I was trying to find something that was under $1,000. And also that was furnished. So that's another thing that's hard to find, is a furnished apartment for a short, short term that is affordable. You don't know how many apartments I called, how many, like I checked all the websites. I checked Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, I think I have housing. I don't say I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I hope so. Cause like the housing that I did find is within an apartment complex and I would be subleasing from another person and the lease would literally be from end of February to end of May, which is the exact timeline for my contract. So it would be perfect. And I really hope it works out cause it is two bedroom, two bathrooms. So I would possibly be sharing it with another person, but right now there isn't a person in the other bedroom. So I'm really hoping no one stays there and it's just me. That'd be great, me and Tubby. So, but yeah. Oh, another thing, speaking of that cat right there. <laughs> you can't see her, look at her, wait. But look, look. Speaking of Tub Tub. <laughs> also trying to find housing that is pet friendly. That makes it a little bit more difficult. Thankfully this apartment allows pets. So that's nice. So this, what I have right now is absolutely perfect. And I really hope it doesn't fall through. I should hear back from them hopefully next week. If not, I'm going to email them and make sure that like everything is settled because, and it's affordable. That is another thing. It is within my price range. But yeah, I think this apartment complex is going to be somewhere around like, I'll we'll round up maybe like $650 a month, which is so great. Way cheaper than what I'm paying here. Hopefully this apartment works out for me because that I could not find a place that was more perfect. Like the other places I found, I would be living with like three other people and the rent would be super cheap. It'd be like 400 or something, which is great, but I really want a place to myself. So I don't like sharing that space. I want it to be for me. Like when I'm out there in the world socializing and stuff, that's cool. But then the introverted side of me wants to come home to my place, my space, no one else, you know? That look like Ariana Grande. I think that's all I have to say about my new contract for right now. Like I said, I'm gonna make other videos that talks about the pay package and then the process of just getting everything situated with the new travel company, the new facility, and being in a new state, getting a licensure. So now let's get into my what my resolution new year's resolution 2022 new year's resolution <laughs> they're not that great but you know i tried so like i said i'm going to talk about my career and financial goals so they'll be really quick it's just like a it's not even like 
the full out list. It's just the main things that basically have to do with travel PT and paying off student loans. Really, that's all it has to do. So my career and financial goals kind of merge together, but I'm just gonna kind of separate them a little bit. So my first one, I want to accept contracts that offer $1,800 or more for a weekly pay. And of course that's like before taxes and putting stuff in my 401k and insurance and stuff. But yeah, I want $1,800 or more weekly pay. And then I want to accept contracts in areas where cost of living is very affordable so I can stay within my housing budget that I set up for myself. And here's a really cool one that I'm super excited about. I want to accept one, at least one contract in a home health setting. I'm very interested in that setting. Of course, I didn't take one right off the bat because I just want to experience first working with like geriatric population. So yeah, I want to accept one contract that is home health. And if I like it, then cool, because usually those are higher paying. And finally, I would like to accept one contract along the East Coast. Like since I have my South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia licensures, it would be great to get something near the beach. Like I want to be like as close to the beach as possible. There's one contract that I found that was in South Carolina and it was so close to the beach. I found, I had already like started looking at housing there because I was so excited about it and it was in the skilled nursing facility. The pay was great. So I was so excited about it. I thought I was going to get it. And I started looking for housing and I found this one place. I think it was from, I think it was on Airbnb. It was so affordable. I don't know why, what was wrong with it, but it was so affordable. Like, oh my, it was right there on the beach, like right there at the beach. Oh my God, it was right there. It was walking distance. Like my backyard was the beach, like sand was the backyard. Oh my God, I wish. Unfortunately, the contract had already been taken. They just didn't take it off the website yet because the person didn't like officially accept it yet, but they were, I don't know, basically is taken so i couldn't take it i'm so sad but hopefully i'm gonna check back though and see if that exact same contract is going to be available when i'm done with my next contract because oh my god i want it so bad and the town that i was in looks so cute so hopefully i'll be praying now Let's get into the financial goals that I have set for myself, y'all. I'm feeling so motivated with this financial stuff. But at the same time, it sucks. <laughs> Can you imagine what I could do? How much money I could put towards my savings so I can retire early if I didn't have these student loans? But it's okay. It is what it is. I don't regret becoming a physical therapist. Might I add a doctor or physical therapist because some people still don't like realize that. It's okay. It's okay. Just bringing awareness. I'm not trying to brag. Just bringing awareness. There's a doctor in front of my name. My first financial goal is basically the main one. Honestly, I have one major financial goal. Actually, there's two really, but the major one is I want to pay off at least $30,000 of my student loans. My five-year plan financially is to have all my debt paid off. Honestly, I want to pay it all off in like two and a half years. Three years may be more realistic, but two and a half is the goal. I, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I just got to be smart. I got to stick to a budget. So that's one thing. Stick to my budget and don't spend money on stupid stuff I don't need. Um, I'm really into being more like, you know, minimalistic, that minimalism lifestyle, which right now my apartment really looks like that because it's pretty empty because I'm selling my furniture since I'm moving to a, hopefully an apartment that is furnished. I don't have my TV stand anymore. I don't have my desk anymore. Eventually I'm not gonna have my nightstand anymore. All I have is my bed. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'll figure that out later because I need someone to sleep. <laughs> you might be wondering, April, how are you going to pay $30,000 off of your student loans? That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Well, thankfully, being a travel PT, you can kind of sort of make a lot of money if you choose the right contracts. So that's why I'm going to accept contracts that offer $1,800 or more for your weekly pay. Also, I want to get little side jobs while I'm working. 
like being a PRN PT pays you a good amount and you can work on the weekends and if for some reason one day during a work week you don't have that many hours you can just text your little supervisor whatever you want to call it and be like hey do y'all need some help can I get some hours so they might say yes um I do need to do more like research on being a PRN in multiple areas states cities towns because I don't want to have like you know a hundred different <laughs> PRN jobs and all these sorts of places and also I want to make sure I stay with like the same company I did find a PRN position in Virginia at the town I'm gonna be at is a home health PRN position which is awesome so I get some experience um, and it's with the same it's with the same company that I'm with now with my PRN position that I have right now in this town I need to figure out though just make sure like that won't be like I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I know what I'm saying. I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but I know what I'm saying. I just don't know how to say it. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm gonna move on to the next topic. Actually, one more thing about finances. We have my student loans, that's the main goal. And then my other main goal is to put as much money as I can towards my 401k retirement plan. And I wanna make sure I have a good enough emergency fund because it's definitely not good. My emergency fund sucks. <laughs> but I am contributing a little bit each month. But I should probably contribute a little bit more just in case something happens and you know that's why you have an emergency fund in case emergencies happen maybe that's not my goals <laughs> okay that is all I have for you guys today this might be a short video I'm not sure yet I feel like I was talking kind of fast but at the same time I just blab on about random stuff so anywho thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos about the process of getting a new contract in a new state with a new company and new facility. So yeah, I'll make a video about that and also a video about my new pay package. Make sure you hit that like button below so you continue to support me and also hit that subscribe button so you never miss another episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great, beautiful, wonderful day, night, evening, afternoon. Crap, book, 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 book. <laughs> I'm about to start rapping. <laughs> no, I was trying to say butt cracking dolls. <laughs> Still, but I'm done. Okay, bye. Should I like fold it in again? Oh, wait. No. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like this. I'm still gonna have to suck it up because this thing is comfy. Maybe it's not that bad. What if I just tilt my head a little bit? Okay. Oh my god, you're so cute. Look at her. Go on your little face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Toby, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, Toby's looking cute again. You can't see her look. Make sure you hit that like button below so you continue to subscribe.